Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Giving you background of what we are going to do this evening. Giving you background of what we are going to do this evening. We will continue. We will continue with uh, the, uh, the uh, yesterday, uh, where we stopped yesterday, which is the uh, exposition of the, uh, of the naval uh, officer. We are going to continue from there. And uh, please, those of, you, those of you who are uh, on social media now and everywhere and, uh, and uh, addressing uh, Simon Epa Post, channel that energy to Biafra struggle. You don't need to write me a pistol. You don't need to write me letter, open letter. You don't need to write all those nonsense. What you have to do is to channel your energy to exposing Fulani Tire your energy to exposing full and need that they are coming to our land. Okay, this evening we are going to stop from we are going to start from where we where we uh, stopped yesterday uh, on exposition of this uh, of this uh, the uh, the analysis of this uh, naval officer to to be able to give you the in depth the in depth you, so for you to be able to have the in depth knowledge of how the full and are taking over Nigeria. This is the most important thing now. You know. Uh, somebody, uh, anybody who lies against me, sometimes I don't dislike it. I don't like it. So you may be doing, or you may be doing all your, all your attacks and all that, but don't lie against me. I don't like it. I don't like when people lie deliberately, especially deliberately lie against me. I have been sleeping like a lie, like a baby uh, cat. I don't. I'm not even a lion. I've been sleeping like a cat. Don't lie against me. You can say anything you want to say. But don't lie against me. Don't lie against me. So, those of you who are now responding to, responding to Simon, uh, you know, if you know you are responding to Simon, please channel your energy, channel your energy to, channel your energy to, to, to the uh, Fulani. There, is, there are a lot of things to talk about. There are a lot of things. You know, I have come across a lot of uh, a lot of uh, p a pistol. People are writing a pistol to Simon Ekpa. Open letter this. Oh, Simon, calm down. Simon, it is not this. It is not that. Let me tell you all. You know, don't fight. Don't start a fight you cannot finish. Okay, don't start a fight you cannot finish. This struggle. When I start my own fight, I will fight till the end. Don't start a fight you cannot finish. Especially when you know that you are you are not do, you are not fighting a good fight. You know, so all this why there has been a lot of lies told against me. I have never responded. I have maintained my, uh, my focus. I am not distracted. So when somebody will come deliberately, there are a lot of lies told against me. I didn't even address them. But there is a particular one which I picked. And I know that particular lie, even though some people noticed it was a lie, it is a deliberate, it was a deliberate falsehood against me. So, and, uh, and uh, I, I say it again. Uh, the, the conversation between us, I recorded it. I recorded it, and it is there. So let them come and show where I say, hand over Redo Biafra to me. I don't like that kind of thing. And so let us not get distracted, please. Let us focus on this struggle. If you have any issue with me, uh, you can come to me directly. Don't come. If somebody, if somebody call you, if somebody call you on, your, on a program and ask you about Simon Ekba, it is not a, it is not a, it is not a must you answer the person. It is not a must you 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 uh, you, you you address the person. No. Why must you go and address the person? You know, it is not a must. It is not a must. If you are confronted with a question of about Simon Ekpa, tell them that this issue of Simon Ekpa has been buried. It is as simple as that. Don't go and start lying deliberately about Simon Ekpa. I don't take it. I know they look face. You know, I have come a long way. So nobody dare me. If you come, if you, if I want to start fight, I will fight till the end. That is me. I will fight. I don't look face. So anybody, anybody writing to Simon Ekpa now should channel the energy ab that, about that your energy. I have not seen you put it to Fulani. Expose Fulani. Don't come and advise me. Don't come and advise me. Okay? Don't come and advise me. When I need advice, I will seek the advice. And I know those who will advise me. Don't come. You see, let me tell you people. Most of the things that are happening are something that is quite avoidable. 
It is something that is avoidable. It is something that can be controlled. It is not everything. Every time you want somebody to, to talk, you know, you want to prove somebody wrong, you know. And when, uh, when uh, somebody like me, you know, pick it up, it will not end well. It will not end well. Leave Simon Ekpa alone. I have said it several times. You don't know the thing I have with Onyendu. You don't know what the task Onyendu gave me. You don't know the task Mazen Nambikano gave me. Allow me to do this thing I'm doing. Since I am not interfering in your leadership, I'm not interfering in your decision making, I am not interested in your decision making, allow me to do what I'm doing, you know, since the beginning. Allow me, allow me. I am not interested in taking your position. I can never take your position. I am not interested. Allow me to do the job I'm doing that you cannot do. You cannot do the job. If I stop what I'm doing today, you can't do it. Okay? You can't do it. So please, anybody that must come to address me, I want, to, I want you to show me a, a, a pistol you have written about Fulani before you can come and address Simon Ekpa, before you can come and tell Simon Ekpa what to do. I want you to show me what you, how you have addressed Fulani in version how you have shared all the videos I have done in the past. I want you to show me your page where you have copied my videos, where you have copied my expositions, where you have caught those videos and share it on your page before you can come and advise me. If you do not, if you do not show me, if you cannot show me this proof, don't talk to me. Just mind your business. Don't mention my name. You know, so for you to advise me, you must be able to show me where you have, uh, where you have shared the exposition I have been making since I joined the Biafra struggle. Someone, somebody, somebody wrote a, wrote a, 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 a pistol. Simon Ekpa, I am writing a pistol. You know, I have read it. I have just, I have just seen it. Very, very long uh, uh, a pistol. You want to talk to Simon Ekpa. And when I went to your page, you have not shared what, not even a single video from Simon Ekpa. You have never shared any exposition of Simon Ekpa. You have never shared nothing. And you are writing a pistol to advise Simon Ekpa. Take, put your advice to yourself. Don't advise me. If you want to do something for Biafra struggle, take that your energy you want to use to advise Simon Ekpa. Put it to exposing Fulani. Fulani are coming. They are killing people in Imo State. Hope Uzodema is killing people in Imo State. Focus on that. That is where you should focus. The the uh, the, the Mayete Allah, they are killing people in Biafra land. Focus on that. And some of you who will always come to say for those of you, for those of you who we for those of you who we say who we say, when somebody is uh, is talking about uh, uh, the, uh, the the uh, the 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 leadership or, or lies, and then you will come and say, please allow this thing to be. Allow this thing to be. My brother, <laughs> I am a Zanoka. The Azanoka I am is that. Don't lie against me. My Azoanoka is that you must not lie against me. You can say anything, oh, you can twist anything you want to, tell the world whatever you want to tell them, oh, but don't deliberately lie against me. And some of you who will come here and say, we must allow somebody who lie, when they lie against you, allow them, because they are leadership. What exactly, are, that is hypocrite. Do you know that? It is hypocrite. You cannot, be, you cannot be fighting against impunity and supporting impunity in the name of you want to respect somebody. You can't do that. If you want to fight impunity, fight impunity, irrespective of who else is God. You are here. You condemn Ohanes and Dibu of their impunity. We, you know, we don't respect elders. And then you come, you don't respect elders. Why you have some people committing the same impunity like the elders in Igbo land? And you don't want to, you don't want to condemn them. That's, that's, that's your, you are building, you are building a disastrous future. That is what you are doing. If you want to condemn those elders that you know that they are committing impunity in Biafra land, anywhere impunity is committed, condemn it. That is how to build a sane society. I am not somebody that is psychophant. I don't look people's face. Even if my father, even if my mother, if you do something wrong, I will gonna tell you you have done something wrong. Okay? So my people, please, what you are doing is that you are sowing a very dangerous seed. You cannot be condoning evil. When you see evil, you condone it. And when you see evil in Ohanese, you, 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 you attack it. When you see evil in other elders of Biafra land, you attack them. Why you see evil within, your, within yourself, you don't attack it. It is evil and must be condemned. 
It is called hypocrites in English. Some of you will be telling me, oh, Simon Epa, this is not the time. Let us focus. Why can we focus? How can we focus? These people keep dragging me. I have, I, have, I have been respecting myself. I have been respecting this struggle. I have been respecting Onyendu. They keep dragging me. They keep dragging me. Don't start this fight. You will not finish. They keep dragging me. How can you be, how can you be so evil? And, and you, are, you are doing it. The person is not responding to you. Only to come and lie. Why, why, should I, why should I ask somebody to give me, to hand me over Radio Biafra? On what ground? On what ground? On what ground should you hand me, you hand me over Radio Biafra as what? As somebody, as a, as a somebody who, 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 who set up Radio Biafra or as, as, a, as what? Why should, you, why should I come and tell you to hand me over Radio Biafra? I don't like people lying against me. I don't like it. I don't like it. You can tarnish my image in order blackmailing, but don't lie. Don't say something I didn't say. It breaks my heart. And if you are watching me today, if you are watching me today, and you are not condemning when people are lying against you, especially those that call themselves leadership, and you come here to tell me we should overlook it, we should overlook it, why are you then attacking the elders in Biafra land? Why are you attacking the politicians who deliberately lie to make sure they enslave you? Why? Why should you do that? It is wrong. If you want to be on the on the, on if you want to be on a clean path, be on a clean path. If you want to be on the path of the truth, be on the path of the truth. Don't choose which truth to to follow. You to, you follow the. So please. Anybody that must write me, if you must comment on what I have posted today, I want you to show me where you have shared my video, exposition I'm doing, show, you, show it to me where you share it on your page. And I want everybody, I want everybody that is, uh, you know, that is watching and reading all the things I have done so far, I want you, when you see the people commenting on what the clarification I made, which they requested, they requested for clarification. They say Simon Ekpa did not sign a code of conduct. Where is code of conduct? Where is code of conduct? Can anybody, can anybody, all of you now that is shouting Simon Ekpa sign code of conduct, have you set your eye on the code of conduct? Have you set your eyes on the code of conduct? Is, is, is the code of conduct a secret society? If, there can be, if people can be discussing code of conduct in the public, why are they not making the code of conduct public? Is it a secret society? As I'm talking to you today, nobody, nobody, nobody has been able to show me code of conduct. Nobody. Every, every officer that have requested to see the code of conduct, they have never set their eyes on it. Okay? So you are telling me, go and sign the document. Which document? Did you have the document? Did you see document? Some, some of you are just ignorant. So much ignorant that your ignorance is smelly. You ask somebody to go, to go and sign document. Which document? Did you see the document? You that is telling me to sign document, give me the document now. As I'm talking to you today, I have not seen no document. I have never seen any document. Nobody has sent any document to me. Even though I have made it very clear, I cannot give my platform as a condition and then also at the same time to control what I'm saying or what I'm going to see, what I'm going to say. You don't know what I have with Onyendu. Why don't you maintain it like that? So for those of you, I want this thing to die today. I want this Radio Biafra, Simon Ekpa, this Simon Ekpa, that let it end today. Let it end today. Let it end today. I have tried as much as possible to address this thing in a very diplomatic way possible. You people don't want to hear it. The same people, the same people who are in the leadership, who should be using the wisdom God gave them, we go on Radio Biafra and be lying against Simon Ekpa. Simon Ekpa say, hand me over Radio Biafra. Let me make it clear. Let me make it very clear. I have never and will never demand that Radio Biafra be handed over to me. I didn't do that. I didn't say that. And I believe that the way I recorded that particular conversation is the same way the DOS recorded this conversation. So just you play 
where I said, hand me over to Radio Biafra. What I said is that I will broadcast on Radio Biafra without condition. Without condition. How does that, how does that amount to hand over Radio Biafra? That is what I said. Even though the explanation I made, they cut it out. The video, is, the video they posted is that I am going to de 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 broadcast on Radio Biafra without condition. How does that amount to, amount to anything wrong? I said I will broadcast on Radio Biafra without condition. Let this thing end today. Biafrans, as I'm talking to you now, I have never received any document of anything. When we had a meeting with the DOS, I told them there is no need sending me any document. I told them there is no need sending me any document because the document doesn't exist. A lot of people have requested for that document, for that code of conduct. They refuse to show it to them. They refuse, including those who are the mothers, the mothers of IPOB. They have demanded to see the document. The media team refused to show them the document. So nobody, nobody, nobody have sent any documents to me. So those of you that will come here, follow, follow people. You come here, you don't know anything. You will tell me, Simon Epa, go and sign the document. Which document? Did you show me any document? So, please, please, I have made it very clear. There is no reason for me to demand that anybody hand me over Radio Biafra. As what? I make it clear. I didn't say that. It was a lie. And that is the lie that pains me. And I know that it was a de it was deliberate lie. And I have demanded Chike Dosiem to come and address that issue. Instead of him to, to, he said I'm already addressing it. So I want to address it once and for all. And let it be, today will be the last day I will talk about this. So anybody from today, anybody from today, if you want to tell me to sign document, first of all, you show me the document I want, I want to sign. You cannot come to my page and tell me, hey, Simon, I go and sign document. Did you see the document? If you, some of you say, if you want to do this, you are going to be, you, 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 if you want to take any position, you swear oath, you do this. I have told you the oath issue has been settled. If you want to tell me to sign document, they say they call it code of conduct. Let the code of conduct be public. Is it not code of conduct? Is code of conduct a secret? Code of conduct, is it supposed to be secret? You that is telling me to sign code of conduct, you don't even know the, you don't even know the content of code of conduct. You don't know. <laughs> you don't know the content of code of conduct. Simon Ekpa don't know the content of code, of code of conduct. Nobody inside IPOB know the code of conduct, know the content, the wordings of code of conduct, except the people who are parading the code of conduct, auto, uh, um, uh, uh, I don't know whether what to call it, audio, audio code of, uh, conduct, uh, code of conduct. Nobody has seen code of conduct. Simon Epa have not seen code of conduct. Let them send it to me. Let me see. So please, if they recorded that conversation we had, let them make it public. Let them make it public. Where I say, hand me over Radio Biafra. Because this damage they want to cause, I hope they are going to, they are going to solve it at the end of the day. God and man know that my hands are clean. I have not done anything wrong. And you continue to wake me up. You continue to wake me up. You continue to wake me up to the extent of coming to the holy Radio Biafra to lie against Simon Ekpa, just to score a cheap point. That I demanded to hand me over Radio And the point is that he mentioned it. Chike Doziamu, Chike Doziamu mentioned it several times. Simon Ekpa said, and he was there. You must hand me over Radio Biafra. This is wrong. If you are looking for Biafra and you are condemning politicians in Nigeria who are lying to you, who are deceiving you, and you are not condemning when people come and lie against you in the public, my brother, you are not changing. You have not changed. You have not changed. You have not changed. You need to work on yourself. You need to work on yourself. If you say, we don't have elders, we are not respecting elders because our elders are liars. And then you see somebody doing something bad, and you cannot condemn the person because the person is you are not different. You are not different than those in Nigeria. You are not different than them. 
we have to put our hand very straight. We have to be clean. We have to make sure our hands are clean. You cannot be talking from both sides of your mouth. If you want to fight for freedom, focus on fighting for freedom and always stand by the truth. And the truth shall set you free. Only truth. I am not here to defend myself. But what I have come to do is that I want today, let this whole thing, be, let it end. Let it end today. Let it end today. Nobody should tell me again anything to sign any document for any code of conduct. I have not seen the document. Nobody has seen the document to me. And if you that is telling me to sign document have seen the document, show me the document. But what I said, what I said, which is very clear, is that I will not hand over my platform, my platform as a condition, as a condition to broadcast on Radio Biafra. That is my stand. I will not hand over my platform as a condition to broadcast on Radio Biafra. And I believe that if any other thing you don't understand any other thing, you, you understand this one. So the code of, the code of conduct that people are talking about, <laughs> is it they are reporting my account. Nobody is reporting my account. Is a, for, I'm receiving call. So the code of conduct that people are talking about is for me to hand over my platform yeah, as a condition before broadcasting on Radio Biafra. So please, leave this sin, leave this thing, leave me alone. Let me, let me do what I'm doing. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Let me fight for Biafra the way I'm fighting it. Until our Onyendu is out. When Onyendu come out, we will, everybody will see where we have gone wrong and where we have gotten it right. And he will be the one to address it. And you people were there. All of a sudden, immediately they capture our leader, they kidnap our leader. Everybody is fighting Simon Ekpa. What did Simon Ekpa do you? Did Simon Ekpa collect your wife? Did Simon Ekpa collect your wife? Do you know Simon Ekpa before? Some of, you don't, some of you are just following something you know nothing about. You come on social media. Go and sign document. Go and sign document. Do you know the document? Did you see document? Somebody come and tell me I should hand my platform as a condition to broadcast on Radio Biafra. And then, that, and then he come out and say that is a code of conduct. Where is the code of conduct? If you that is watching me today and you always come to my program, Simon Ekpa, go and code. Have you set your eyes on code of conduct? Have you set your eyes on it? You know you did not set your eyes on it, but you are coming, coming every day to talk to Simon Ekpa. So I want this thing to die today. I want it to die today. Everything Mazin Namdi Kano has built, we are going to fight to protect it. That is, that is what we have to do. And they said, there is a problem I want to come and solve. <laughs> oh my God. Please. Please, let this thing, let this thing end today. Let this thing, listen, let me tell you. When I get angry, I don't look face. I don't look face. Nobody brought me to this, to this uh, uh, struggle. Nobody brought me to this struggle. I made my choice. It is my choice. I am not compelled by anybody to join this struggle. I am not compelled by anybody to join my Zenam Dikano. It is not you. I don't even know you. I don't even know you when I joined the struggle. I don't know who the hell you are in the first place. When I joined the struggle, it was Mazen Namdekano that brought me to the struggle. I don't know who the hell you are. Okay? See, let me tell you, for those who will say, uh, nobody is fighting me, I should respect the U.S. Respect is a reciprocal. You don't, you don't fight for respect. You earn it. You earn respect. All of you have seen in my program the way I am praising the DOS, the way I am defending the DOS, the way I am asking people to respect DOS. So where the hell is, those who is telling me to respect them is coming from? Where is the respect? What, where did I disrespect them? I want you to show me. Where did I disrespect them? I want somebody to show me where I have disrespected the DOS. 
in my program, I have always advocated for everybody to obey the order from the DOS. I have always advocated and praised them. I want you to show me in my program where I have said don't disobey or disobey DOS. Where? Some of you don't understand anything. Some of you are just making all these things because you, don't, you are ignorant of, of, of the Biafra struggle. Very, very ignorant. Because that I did not, I did not uh, sign on, an unexisting document is not a disobedience to DOS. No, the document does not exist. Okay? It doesn't exist. So let me put, it, let me put this record straight for the very last time. I said, the reason I am not broadcasting on Radio Biafra today is because I refused to hand over my platform as, as, as a criteria. Okay? Is that disrespectful? That I should hand my platform as a condition to broadcast on Radio Biafra? Is that, is that disrespectful? I remember when Mazin Amdekano asked me to broadcast. It doesn't matter how the story, how the story goes. Mazin Amdekano didn't attach anything to it. So please, I beg you people to let this thing end today. I have addressed everything here. I didn't want to, I didn't want to talk about this issue. I have addressed everything here. I have said, I have told you the reason. I have told you also there is no code of conduct anywhere. There is no paper like code of conduct, except if they make it today uh -huh. and send it is a different thing. But for the fact, as far as I'm concerned, I have not set my eyes on a paper called code of conduct. Not only me, the IPOB women in the United States, they have demanded for that same code of conduct. The DOS or whoever that is in charge could not provide any document like that. So for as far as I'm concerned, there is no document like that existing anywhere. I have not seen it. If you tell me to sign any document, please bring the document for, let me see. Have you set your eyes on the document? We are not in secret court. So I want you to allow me to do what I'm doing. Don't distract me. Let this thing end today. Anybody that comes to tell you that Simon Ekpa, this Simon Ekpa, that, please tell the person that I have addressed and buried this thing today. Let it end today. Let us focus. Our leader is languishing there in the DSS. And what people are talking is Simon Ekpa uh, 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 want the Radio Biafra. Simon Ekpa don't want the Radio Biafra. Our leader is languishing in the DSS. And people are distracting us. We need to win souls for this Nigeria disintegration. We need to let people understand the danger that is awaiting them. We need to let people know that Nigeria is collapsed. We need to know, we need to let people understand the reason why they should join the struggle for Biafra, join the struggle for Duduwa, join the struggle for, for Middle Belt. We need to let people understand that Nigeria people are going to be killed like they did in, Tal in Afghanistan. These are the things we should be doing. Not every day, Simon Ekpa, Simon Ekpa, Simon Ekpa, Simon Ekpa. Every blessed day, Simon Ekpa. And what is pending me is that even when the enemy is calling, enemy, because they know you, 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 will, not, you will not handle the, the question very well. Because they know you will not handle that question. They know you will not address that question. Every day on Radio Biafra, they come and ask you, Simon Ekpa. If you don't have the wisdom to address those questions, don't address it. Don't address it. Because there is a way, that is where you will, you will get to, you don't expect me to keep quiet. If you don't have the wisdom, if you don't have the wisdom to address questions, don't address it. So today you must know there are some people who are calling you on Radio Biafra to tell you, what about Simon Ekpa? How is Simon Ekpa doing? What is the Radio Biafra or Simon Ekpa? Those people are not with us. I am begging DOS from today, if anybody call you on Radio Biafra to ask you about Simon Ekpa, please ignore them. Ignore them. Ignore them. It is not a must. It is not a must you address Simon Ekpa, a question concerning Simon Ekpa. You have, I give you all win. You, are, you all won. I have I lost the battle. You have won the everything. So please, from today, 
Any DOS going to Radio Biafra, don't address Simon Epa issue. Please. If you don't know how to address it, don't address it. If they ask you, because the people that will, that will be calling you, the people that will be calling you to, to ask you about Simon Epa, they are not with us. So when they, when they confront you with question, why is Simon Epa didn't take oath? Why is Simon Epa didn't sign document? Please, if you do not know how to address it, tell the person it is, it is irrelevant. Tell the person that Simon Ekpa issue is irrelevant. And let us move forward. Because you cannot be hitting me while I'm lying on the floor. You punch me, punch me, punch me. I am lying on the floor. You punch me, punch me, punch me. You continue to punch me. But then, this is too much. For you to come and say, I told you people to hand over Radio Biafra to me. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. You, uh, there are other lies that, that we are told, which I'm not, I'm not bothered. But for you to come on air to say, Simon Ekpa opened his mouth and said, uh, you must hand me over Radio Biafra. That is a lie taken too far. That is a lie taken too far. And I can't accept it. I cannot accept it. I told Chike Dosiam to go and address this issue. He said, I am already addressing it. So I have come to address it properly. I have come to address it properly. Don't lie against me again. Because I will not I will not take it, I will not take it from anybody. You people have attacked me, attacked me so much for, for the reason best known to you. You don't know, you don't know me, I don't know you. The only thing that have, the only thing that connects us is the Biafra struggle. You don't know who the hell I am. I don't know who the hell you are. But please, but please, don't lie deliberately. Or against me. There, are, there has been a lot of lies going around everywhere, flying from one left place to another. Everybody is being attacked. This one is this, that one is this, this. So please, don't address Simon Ekpa again. Don't address Simon Ekpa again. Remember that I warned, you, I warned you people from the beginning. Leave Simon Ekpa. Simon Ekpa is not dragging position with you. Simon Ekpa is not coming to bring confusion to IPOB. Simon Ekpa is not coming to eye your, whatever you are doing in IPOB. Simon Ekpa is not going to monitor you. I am doing my thing on my own. On my own. On my own. Trying to help. And immediately our leader is not there. All of, all of a sudden, everybody now become Black Panther against Simon Ekpa. Everybody is fighting Simon Ekpa. Because because our leader is not is not here. It is it is quite sad, very very sad, very sad. So please, if you have problem with me, let it be personal. Don't bring it to the struggle. Don't bring it to what I'm doing. I thank you all. This evening we will continue. We will continue with our exposition and what I know how to do best. We will continue with the exposition. We are going to enter the part three of analysis of Kule. Please. Don't come to that program this evening and talk about this issue I'm talking here. I have finished this issue. And it is dying here. I want this to be the last time I'm going to talk about it. This will be the last time. Some of you may, may, may have seen when they, when they, when they, when they, uh, 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 when they suspended uh, uh, Prince Darlington. I said it is wrong. I said it is wrong. It is wrong to suspend Prince Darlington at this time. Today, what happened? Have they not lifted that, uh, that uh, uh, suspension? They suspended him for three months. Have they not lifted his suspension? We have seen that they have lifted his suspension. That is how to do things. You don't, you don't just uh, you do things because you have power. You, power is now you are the one who has power to control everything. You suspend Prince Darlington in a very wrong time. And people say, you must not take, you know, when I protested, they say, you must leave it, you must leave. How can you be leaving all these things? Do you want to be worse than Nigeria? I don't do that kind of thing. I don't do that kind of thing. You should know by now that Abro Mana and Atata, don't provoke me. Don't provoke me. Don't provoke me. The only reason why I'm doing this thing now is because of first, Biafra. Two, is the promise I have given to our leader. And like I said, it is only time. Only time will tell. Only time will tell. The attack method on me is uncalled for. It's uncalled for. Because I have done nothing 
that will warrant you people to start attacking me from the DOS. DOS, I have, I have messages from the DOS where you people were discussing Simon Ekpa. Every day in the DOS platform is about Simon Ekpa. Simon Ekpa this, Simon Ekpa that. See you in the evening.